guys uh, a very uh, good afternoon and uh, we won't speak much right now but we'd like you to watch the trailer of force 2 and we're going to take our seats please watch it uh, please don't flash and uh, please don't shoot any videos of the trailer because we've got the original uh, playing so just give that give us a lot of respect there and we'll play the trailer twice for you guys yeah thank you so uh, how's the experience been what was the the idea behind it i think we wanted a film that was larger the problems were larger, and, uh, so the problems in Force 2 are larger and uh, we wanted a character that's far more evolved than uh, the antagonist in Force 1 and um, I think uh, for us, uh, Tahir, uh, you know, checkmarked all the boxes for us and we thought he was, uh, I mean, I saw him in Mardani and uh, Abhin and I kept discussing about uh, Tahir and, uh, and finally I think when we collectively I think uh, Abhinay and Vipul met him and uh, I met him too, I had the pleasure of meeting him and then we got him on board. So I think the, the antagonist of this film is uh, far more evolved uh, and I always say this, you know, the strength is always here, not here and uh, Tahir has got that strength of character in this film. Uh, he's fantastic and when you actually, uh, you know, when you, when you see if there's portions that I've seen in the film and I'm speaking offhand, I shouldn't be saying this Abhinay, but uh, I got goosebumps with uh, certain portions of his and you really feel for this character which is fantastic and uh, it's got so many shades and so many layers so I think he adds so much value to this film and the antagonist and the character in itself adds a lot of value in this film. Fantastic. Sonakshi, uh, so many stunts actually, I mean going shoulder to shoulder with John must be difficult. I mean how much of a challenge it was to get to or so many stunts and actually do it. Okay, uh, just coming to the stunts part, uh, to the action sequences, you've done a whole lot of them. Was it difficult or were you, um, uh, did John actually guide you or you like said, hey, come on, I'm going to do it was, this? It was actually a lot of uh, fun for me and uh, it's uh, something that I'm, I've actually been very athletic even when I was in school. I used to enjoy playing sports and I feel doing this kind of stuff puts me, liberates me in certain ways. So I, I was really excited to do the stunts that were told to me in this film. Uh, I feel like it was just a carry forward from Akira uh, doing the, in the action space and I feel this was the right film to portray a different type of action, more sleek, more um, you know, stylized, very like amazing car chase sequences, high octane stunts and stuff. So it was really a fantastic experience and um, I was matching John step by step and he was very encouraging. And uh, even though he made fun of me every now and then, but uh, at the end of the day, he appreciated my work, which is uh, what counts. And I guess everybody was happy, so uh, that makes me happy. You know, just, just, just a question which is coming to my mind. Uh, it's easy to romance or it's easy to beat up someone? <laughs> For me, it's easy, easy to, to beat, beat up, up someone. <laughs> 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 All right, Tahir. Who ever told you to become a villain? Yeah? I mean, you, you're so good looking. I mean, I, I, you know, just looking at you, it is very difficult to visualize. You can you can easily be cut off as a lead man and looking in yeah. I think that question is for the producer over there. <laughs> <laughs> and in Mardani, it, it was brilliant, absolutely. Uh, we saw the shades of the uh, the with the wicked uh, you know the wicked shade of yours, and here you've actually taken it to the next level. What was the experience like? Thanks. Uh, to answer your first question, I really believe that no okay. one is all bad or all good. I like to play characters as if there are shades of bad and good and good and bad. And that's really what attracted me to, to this role. When you do Madani like a picture and you get your audience ka, or critics ka ki appreciation, milti hai, to, like, everyone is using the phrase, the next step, the big game. It's important to pick a project um, that ups it in, in terms of everything, in terms of the script, the story, uh, the action. And close to check all those uh, boxes for me. It was um, a bigger project. It had uh, the opportunity to act, and that's why I took it on. And just to add to where John left off to say that you know he's liked what I've done. I would just like to say that I was only doing my second film, and an actor's performance really depends on how he's treated on set and uh, you know how he's dealt with. And I was dealt with no less than uh, the other stars who were sitting. And I felt like I'm doing my 25th film. So a lot of the confidence that comes is thanks to the people you're seeing uh, sitting on stage. It wouldn't have been possible. Absolutely special. This is also, also I'd like to add that Tahir played the leading man off the set in Budapest. <laughs> 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 
is true. For that, we have to have a press conference. In oh, we'll have a separate one for that. Se separate one. <laughs> not, not in front of I like lifting things, so. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. I'm a, I'm a pickup truck, so. Yeah, I like lifting things. But uh, just to uh, add here, I've, uh, uh, I've been a fan of uh, Sonakshi's. I've been a very big fan of uh, Abhinay uh, since uh, a long time. And uh, I think we met Abhinay before Force even happened. And I wanted to meet him and I chatted with him and I said, uh, Will we, can we work together? And he said, yeah. And that was it. <laughs> and he left on his motorcycle and I like him because he rides a motorcycle also. <laughs> ah. so, so we really hit it off and um, I think honestly the entire energy on this film and uh, barring a few, you know, uh, goof ups, uh, you know, barring very few, probably one or two, the energy has honestly been very positive and I think when it's very positive on a set, uh, we hope that the outcome is also very positive. So actually, final question. Uh, do you want to do any stunt which you possibly missed out? Is there something you missed out which you want to do it again? Absolutely not. I think I got uh, to do a lot more than I expected to do in this film. Uh, it's uh, like everybody's been saying, bigger, better. And uh, I, I have absolutely no complaints. Usually I would be like, in fact, John was saying the other day that there was this uh, action sequence where I was not supposed to be as involved uh, in the yeah, in, in, in the scene, I was supposed to be on the side protecting somebody, but uh, when he saw the trailer for Akira, that's when we were shooting it, he said, no, make her do the action uh, in this scene as well. So, honestly, I got a lot more that I could ask for, and I'm so happy with the way that it's turned out. I am Bollywood Back TV from USA. Good, good. I think force is about power and uh, I think it was uh, Abhinay and Vipul's decision to uh, continue uh, you know the, the character of uh, ACP Yashwardhan and it was uh, the way they set the, is it, honestly it was the way Abhinay set the entire scene up. Uh, the only input I had in uh, lifting the car was how my posture looked, <laughs> you know very honestly. So I give credit to him for, for really doing this. But I think it's important that force stands for certain things and I think what, uh, uh, what Abhinay has done very smartly in this film is not only has he got out the, the power element, but this film also has uh, a fantastic story. When you see the trailer, it says uh, dedicated to the heroes who lost their lives and uh, that's something we discussed. Uh, this is based actually on, if I may say so Vipul, this is actually based on true events. So by the end of the film, you'll be shocked. So it's a lot, we were inspired by a lot of true events that we've put together. So there's a lot of credibility in the story. So I think, yes, to answer your question, uh, it's great to show ACP Yashwadhan very powerful, but it's also important to have a good story. Look, you lifting the car, John. John. Yeah. 
जी वी वेरी प्राउड इन फैक्ट ये बहुत पहले करना चाहिए था हमें एल uh, की बात कर रहे हो आप जो वो जो स्पेसिफिक टारगेटेड ये हुआ आई थिंक इट वॉज इट्स हाई टाइम वी रिस्पॉन्ड टू टेररिज्म एज अ कंट्री हम लोग बहुत ही टॉलरेंट है एंड आई थिंक इट्स हाई टाइम वी पूरा फुट डाउन एंड वी शो वॉट इंडिया कैन डू जी आई आर इन कंप्लीट एग्रीमेंट विद जॉन वी टॉक अबाउट फोर्स टू सपोज हाय जॉन जॉन एंड अभी ओवर हियर यू नो द ओपनिंग स्लाइड ऑफ द फिल्म सेज दैट इट इज डेडिकेटेड टू अनसंग हीरो सो व्हाट वाज द थॉट प्रोसेस इन एडिंग द स्लाइड इन द ट्रेलर टू बोथ ऑफ यू द आईडिया बिहाइंड दैट वाज दैट व्हेन वी बिगन द स्टोरी इटसेल्फ वी वर द स्टोरी इज अबाउट as john said rightfully it's about uh, our idea itself started from trying to give a, a standing ovation of a kind to the people who really spend their entire lives sometimes give their entire lives in protecting us and our lives so there are many such people so it's not about a story of one person it's a story of um, you know many of such lives which have been lost by this country and we are trying to just give them from our side a little bit of a, a you know a standing ovation that's why the slide is there uh, so nakshi sir so and Nakshi-Sir. one question to you you know you are one of the very few producers who is banking three back to back sequels there is force to followed by commando and then namaste uh, england so what do you have to say about the culture of sequels in our industry uh, a namaste england is not a sequel to namaste london we have clarified that long back uh yes but there are films that you make like force uh when we were making the first one we felt that this is a character which is so strong that we can't just let it die this character has to tell more stories and that is how force 2 uh, took birth we are taking that character forward we are make, we are trying to tell a more important story as avinay just said and john just said that there are so many unsung heroes we always uh, talk about the heroes which are well known uh, there are certain heroes which country celebrates but there are so many unsung heroes who give their ultimate sacrifice of their life for the country and nobody notices them uh, their stories their life is not noticed while we were doing the research on the film we came across so many of such stories and we decided to dedicate this film to those unsung heroes so that is how uh, the unsung hero thing came in and to answer your question to why john lifted car and bike uh, when we when john lifted bike in the first one there was some reporting done in media that this is only a trick photography and john has not done it and we were not happy about it because we were not lying and uh, to his credit to come in a press conference and lift a bike is actually not a actor's job but he did it just to show that we don't lie we are telling what we have done so and now it is continuing in this film with the car lifting sequence so yeah so that's what it is but about sequels force is the sequel that is very dear to all of us and now uh, rest of the sequels will talk <laughs> as we move along so nakshi lipika here hi uh in your first film dabang you uh, said thappad se dar nahi lagta and you have you are really justifying it now with akira and force 2 so can we take the privilege of uh, calling you or tagging you as action queen you must <laughs> <laughs> elaborate a little that did you know that it will be uh, that uh, phrase will be so truthfully uh showcasing your talent in action honestly um i'm very fond of action films uh, which is why even in the past i've been a part of a lot of action films be it rowdy rathor the bang the bang to son of sardar and you know i just enjoy watching it as a genre and uh, every time i would be a part of those films i would always watch my heroes and be like you know when am i going to get to do this cool stuff and that happened with akira and i couldn't be more thankful uh, that it's carrying forward with a uh, film like force 2 and uh, i really enjoy it like i said so uh, i'm in a very good space happy space i i i will work hard uh, to retain my tag that you have given me of this action queen and i hope that i get to do uh, more films like this as well in the future abhijan 
खामोश का क्या ओपिनियन है खामोश हाँ वो बहुत खुश है वो तो पहले से ही जानते थे कि मैं कैसे हूँ और अब उन्हें स्क्रीन पर देखने को मिल रहा है तो वो बोल रहे हैं अब तुम्हारी असलियत बाहर निकल रही है एंड ही इज ही इज वेरी हैप्पी ही इज वेरी प्राउड अभी नहीं अभी नहीं उसने हेमंत केतकेरे की तरह काम किया जिन्होंने एक्शन किया और मारे गए थे या फिर जो मारिया थे राकेश मारिया जिन्होंने दिमाग से काम किया और केत को बॉम ब्लास्ट के केत को सॉल्व किया था जिन्हें राष्ट्रपति पुरस्कार भी मिला अच्छा तो ये इन दोनों के बीच में आपका जो ये तुपक ऑफ है ये किस तरह का करता नजर आएगा पहले तो आपको एक जरा सा करेक्ट करूँ ये मुंबई पुलिस के बारे में फिल्म नहीं है जो हमारा मेन कैरेक्टर है इंस्पेक्टर ए सी यशवर्धन ये मुंबई पुलिस को बिलोंग करते हैं स्टोरी वैसे पूरी तरह से मुंबई पुलिस पे आधारित नहीं है ओके इससे इससे ज़्यादा मैं इलेबरेट करूँगा तो पुलिस कहानी बतानी पड़ेगी लेकिन लेकिन हाँ ये कॉप एक ये कैरेक्टर ही ऐसा है जिसको आपने पहले पार्ट में देख देख चुके हैं आप कि फर्स्ट पार्ट इट डिफाइंड ए सी पी यशवर्धन इज अ वेरी राइट इज यू नो जो एक जो एक आदमी है जो एक पुलिस वाला है जो सही करता है हमेशा और एक हार्ड कोर पर्सन है और उसी कैरेक्टर को हम आगे फोर्स टू में भी आगे ले जा रहे हैं तो ऑब्वियसली uh, वो कैरेक्टर सेम रोल प्ले कर रहे हैं तो आई सपोज आई मान सकता है जॉन सर आशी बोल रहा हूँ म्यूजिक इंडिया से Uh, इस साल आपकी जो भी फिल्में आई हैं ऑलमोस्ट सभी एक्शन एक्शन फिल्में ही हैं तो क्या हम मान लें कि आप आपका जो रुझान है एक्शन फिल्मों की तरफ ज्यादा हो रहा है नहीं नॉट नॉट एग्जैक्टली क्योंकि इसके बाद हम ट्राई टू डू समथिंग डिफरेंट कुछ काफी डिसरप्टिव करने की सोच रहा हूँ एंड नॉट डिस्ट्रक्टिव डिसरप्टिव सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू Do just action. Uh, action बहुत पसंद है इट्स लाइक सेकेंड नेचर टू मी आई एंजॉय बट आई ऑल्सो लाइक कॉमेडी आई लव कॉमेडी आई लव स्लैपस्टिक कॉमेडी स्पेशली एंड आई लव ऑल काइंड ऑफ फिल्म एंड आई गो एंड वॉच ऑल काइंड ऑफ फिल्म हेलो हाई सनाशी दिस इज या टूवर्ड्स योर राइट हाई दिस इज श्वेता फ्रॉम बॉलीवुड नजर आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू आपने अकीरा में एक जो किरदार प्ले किया था और आप फोर्स में एक रॉ एजेंट का किरदार प्ले कर रही हैं तो रॉ एजेंट बनने के लिए क्योंकि यू नो एक बहुत बड़ी हमारी इसकी संस्था इंटेलिजेंस संस्था है तो इसके लिए आपने ज़्यादा आई मीन कितना आपको मेहनत करना पड़ा कोई ट्रेनिंग ली आपने उनकी तरह रिसर्च करके यू नो पूरी जो जर्नी थी आपकी रॉ एजेंट की एक्चुअली ट्रेनिंग मेरी मिक्स मार्शल आर्ट्स की ट्रेनिंग मुझे इस फिल्म में भी काम आई टू डू दी एक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर आई थिंक कैरेक्टर इतनी अच्छी तरह लिखा गया था और इतना इंट्रीगिंग और इंटरेस्टिंग कैरेक्टर था विच इज़ वाई डिद द फिल्म एज वेल क्योंकि एक लड़की है जो स्ट्रॉन्ग हेडेड है उसका अपना ओपिनियन है शी इज़ एन एल्फा इन अर अपने आप को किसी और से कम नहीं समझती एंड वो एक आदमी की दुनिया में अपना काम कर रही है एंड शी इज़ डूइंग रेली वेल सो दीज एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ द कैरेक्टर आई फेल्ट अट्रैक्टिड मी टूवर्ड्स द फिल्म एंड जो रॉ एजेंट बनना था आई थिंक क्योंकि कैरेक्टर इतनी अच्छी तरह लिखा गया था क्योंकि मैं अपने डायरेक्टर से यू नो बात करके उनसे समझना चाहती हूँ कि उनका क्या विजन है वो कैसे पोर्ट्रे करना चाहते हैं इस कैरेक्टर को उन्होंने बहुत हेल्प की मेरी अदर दैन आई थिंक जो कपड़े होते हैं जो जब शर्ट पैंट जैकेट गन का होल्स्टर आ जाता है आपकी चाल ही बदल जाती है दैट एड्स अ लॉट टू द कैरेक्टर एज वेल सो आई फील एवरी थिंग वॉज वेरी वेल लेड आउट फॉर मी टू प्ले दिस कैरेक्टर एंड आई एम आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डू इट सोनाक्षी यू टू योर लेफ्ट Uh, you playing a Pakistani journalist in your next movie, uh, Noon. But my next movie will talk about next time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the question is, you know, uh, now there is a lot of objection raised over the inclusion of Pakistani actors in Bollywood movies. Do you think we should encourage the, the talent of Pakistani actors, or the ban is justified? Uh, honestly, I would not like to comment upon that right now. But all I can say is that uh, I am not playing a Pakistani journalist. The film is just based on a book which was written by a Pakistani author. Uh, it's been adapted to Mumbai, and now let us get back to Force Two. Uh, John and Sonakshi, a question to you to hear that. What's your left? Yeah. Uh, this movie is somewhat online a tribute to all those brave soldiers who have laid their lives down for India. 
you know, every time there is a cross-border uh, terrorism attack happening, and when soldiers lose their lives, we see a lot of uh, statement of sympathy uh, condemn, condemning those attacks from our own artists, but none from the Pakistani artists. So that has always been a bone of contention. Recently, Swash Chandraji of GSD said that he requested those Pakistani artists to condemn the attack without naming Pakistan, but they refused. So in this case, I mean, how, how do you look at it? Is, isn't that unfair on their part? So, uh, if I have to answer it, uh, I just think it's important about what we do. We are not in a position to opinionate about what the others do or don't do. So, we can only speak for ourselves. So, Nakshi can speak for whether she goes through the emotion, whether I go through the emotion. And what we express is solely our uh, opinion. And uh, I'm just very fortunate to be a part of the film industry because I think we really go out there and we express our solidarity with not only our country but with our soldiers. So I, who I again say on record are the true heroes of this country. Uh, so Rakshi, you want your point? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, uh, this, uh, whether it gets carried forward or doesn't get carried forward, whether it's reaching us or not reaching us, we don't know. So we can only speak for ourselves and, um, you know, um, do our job, which is to uh, stand by our own people. So that is what we are doing. Firstly, thank you Kehna Chayenge, Kyunki Unho Ne Itna Bada Kadam Uthaya Hai and like John said earlier, this was the need of the hour, we have to deal with terrorism and I'm really happy that finally it's happening and you know, we all as citizens of this country, as people who live here and who love our country, uh, we are all very, very thankful to them. Just um, to add to what Sonakshi said, first of all, sir, se pehle jo aapne question tha, just to a, a, a slight correction there. It's, uh, correct me if I'm uh, wrong, it's not a story about Indian soldiers. Her country ki ek covert, uh, ek, 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 ek covert team hoti hai, covert force hoti hai. America mein is force ko CIA ke naam se jana jata hai. India mein se research and analysis wing kehte hai, jiska naam hai RAW. So this is a story about raw agents who Khufia or Gupt operations undertake and which is not the public to know about the public. Sir, I said it's a tribute to the shop. Sure, sure. So just for everyone, it's a story about raw, about what took place this morning. By our constitution, we are not an aggressive country, but in our history, it is written that if we are pushed to a limit which questions our freedom, then we must defend ourselves. I think that it is a defensive act first and then an offensive act and we're very proud. Hi, hi. Thank you. Uh, I will take one more question. Yeah, uh, please, yeah. Uh, hi, this is Mayuri on Sinistan.com. My question is for Avine and uh, John. Avine, coming to you, you know, your last from Delhi Belly came out in uh, 2011. It's been five years since. So, can I assume that you were carrying the Delhi Belly for five years? And uh, my question to John is obviously you've spoken about uh, the force. And uh, Fourth also came out in uh, 2011 and it's taken five years for the second film. And uh, five years, suppose if Force 3 comes out five years down, you think your back will be able to hold up during that time, maybe to lift a uh, truck? I'll, I'll lift this whole asset place. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and John, there you are. Force 2, fantastic. Thank you very much.